It's uh, three o'clock on 420 and right outside the Boston Common. And you can see what we started two years ago. There are already throngs of people at three o'clock, a good hour and 20 minutes before the magic time. The King of Pot and myself, we started this. Look at it now. Look at it now. I can already smell the weed from here. I can smell the weed. I come out of work here. It's 420. We're usually on the uh, hill, but today we're doing things a lot different. Hello, everybody. Happy 420 to everybody. To Mike Can, my brother in the movement. MikeCan.net. Two hot heads for cannabis, man. Can you believe it? I can't we're believe together. how many people are out there. Already. There's a lot of people up there. Uh, you know, I really want to say between Mike Can and myself, we're sorry that we couldn't be there today. Uh, but uh, who knows? Maybe next year. But. Uh, we want you to take a look at what we're going to be doing together, especially, uh, you know what Mike's been doing with Two Hot Heads for Cannabis and the MikeCan.net where you get all your information. But you know the King of Pot has a new home now. It's the thekingofpot.com. We also have a Facebook page called The King of Pot, like us. And don't forget to like the Two Hot Heads and Cannabis uh, Facebook page because they have one too, by the way. So, yeah, so Mikey just come by here. I opened up my door to my office. This is where I work. And uh, we're going to smoke. And I want to show you guys something. I got a little gift from my sponsor, Far Out Magazine. Come on. I want to so, I just told you, I got a gift at Canamania. Jim Fowler had me host his two-day event last weekend, as you see, I'm wearing the shirt. And my uh, buddies from Far Out Magazine, which you remember the issue, okay, that I was in with Planetoid. Well, look what they gave me. They gave King of Pot a little box, and look what's in it. Oh, yeah, that's the box that was at Canamania. And see that, bud? We're going to smoke that right now. Me and my brother, Mike Camp. You know, people, I got to say one thing. A lot of people say, Jesus, you know, why don't them two just go, go get married? Let me say one thing. If you can ever find somebody in the movement that can support you and have your back the way this man has, you're one lucky person because there isn't many that you can really uh, trust or, or, or even think that would have your back, even those so-called friends. But, you know, we've been through a lot, me and Mike, and we've been through the, the bowels of this movement, and now we're coming out, and we're coming out in a different way. It's a twist. Uh, you see, it's King of Pot came back with a twist. Well, I'm coming back with a twist, okay? But you're going to see a lot more of me and Mike can. That's all I want to tell everybody out there in Mike Canville and Two Hundreds for Cannabisville. You're going to see a lot more of Ugly Man here with Mike. But I hope you enjoy what we got coming. And thank you very much, Mike, for always being there for me. And happy 420 to you, your family, and happy 420 to the world. Live, the King of Pot, here in Boston, Massachusetts. I am so happy to be with the King of Pot right now and 420. There's no place, nobody I'd rather be with on 420. Uh, the, he, he said the words that I feel. So many people act like your friend. O only a few prove that they're your friend. And uh, the King of Pot's my best friend. I love this guy, and I'm so happy to be with him today. And uh, we're getting to celebrate privately together. Something we started, we're kind of watching it from afar. The 420 going on, we're in the common. We actually have to leave before 420. We're both working today and we got other things to do. But we're, we're taking a little celebration on 420. It's 420 2012. It's about 3 o'clock right now. We're looking over at the common, what we started two years ago. There's already hundreds of people out there. There's already tons of smoke. I could smell it from the street. What we started has grown bigger. And now we're moving on to some new things. We're going to be starting some new activism. April 28th, be there. Martha Coakley, Rifa Mad. We're protesting her in the streets. You know where it is. It's on Cambridge Street. I believe it's under Cambridge Street. April 28th. Be there 1 p.m. We will see you. The King of Pot and Mike Can working together again. We will be there. We'll have a lot to say about Martha Coakley and her ongoing reefer madness. And uh, stay tuned. We are working on some amazing things. A lot of people have been uh, noticing some changes in the movement. Uh, KLP actually almost took a full year off of activism in, in marijuana reform. Almost never came back. That's why I am so happy right now, is that he came back. 
Um, I, I stepped down from MassCan leadership. I, I will not be booking the Freedom Rally. I'm not going to be doing any of that stuff with the, with, with the Boston Freedom Rally or MassCan anymore. I know a lot of people are uh, asking questions about that. That People are still emailing me about performing at the rally. Um, I think it's going to be in good hands. I think MassCan is going to do great. I still support that organization to support some of the best people over there. Uh, I just needed a break from being the president, running an organization, and also I needed a break from the backstabbing. I, I'm just telling the truth. Um, I got away from my activism even over the last couple of years because I wasn't doing as much as I used to because I was still concentrating on defending myself. I don't need to defend myself. I am the person that does a lot of activism, just like the King of Pot. I have my best friend in the movement who does more than 99% of the people I see out there. He's my partner. That's who I'm working with. So going forward, it, the movement is shrinking. It's growing bigger. The King of Pot and Mike Can and some of the other people that we're working with, like Nikki Smokes and Patrick Wilson and the Occupiers are coming out on the 20, 28th. I mean, we are growing this movement. We're handing out flyers in the street. We are hitting it all cylinders every single day. So check us out. Kangapot.com, MikeCan.net, Two Hot Heads on Cannabis, and stay tuned because there will be a lot more news, a lot more headlines, a lot of things that the King of Pot and myself are doing together. So you know where to find us. We'll see you soon. Smoking with the KOP right now. King of Pot. Mike Can here. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. I want to I want to uh, give a shout out to Jody Emery, Mark Emery, what they're doing up in Vancouver today. Also, uh, I want to give out a shout out to the people in Boston: Nikki Smokes, Valerie Malt, uh, uh, Patrick Wilson, who's over on the Common handing out flyers for our protest of Martha Coakley today. Uh, Scott Malt, who's been doing flyers. Sarah Sparks, who was just on our show this week. Newman. We we got I can, I gotta keep going because there's so many people, but we have a good team. Heather Mack, of course, my co-host on two hot heads on cannabis and uh, the king of pot you know I mean I could keep going there's a lot of good people in this movement I don't want people to think that there are not because there are Paul Serini marijuana radio that brother he's a good man too so we could keep going there's a lot of good people out there and I want to say happy 420 to all of you all of you out there and if I did mention you and you know that I'm with, I'm with you happy 420 to you too Sam Kensley yeah I'm, what are you calling yourself? Sam is a robot now? You're, you're the man too. All you folks out there, there's a lot of you out there. Happy 420. Well, as you can see, it's 420, and me and Mike are very private on a rooftop somewhere in Boston where the KOP works. Uh, I'm out of work now. I'm heading home, uh, and we are having a celebratory smoke. We looked over at the Boston Common, and uh, we can't believe how big how many people are there I mean that thing we started me and Mike all those years grew into that and uh, like we said to the fans we uh, we love you and we definitely will be back one day but uh, right now we get some other things happening that we're doing so Mikey I'm gonna pass the first 420 joint that you and I spoke together right now to you my brother Happy 420 KLP, King of Pot. Happy 420 to everybody in Boston, especially the King of Pot, though. I am so, so happy. He's my friend. I can't even explain how, how much it hurt me when uh, he left the movement. I, you know, it, uh, I missed him, you know? I, I, he was still my friend. I still had him around. I could call him all the time, but, uh, I just didn't want to bring him into all the shit that was going on anymore because I know it really it really hurt him. There's a lot of shit that's going on in this movement. On, and, and it's not just with us. Like, it's everywhere. Every time I turn on my Facebook, there's someone else contacted me that I should unfriend this person because they did something. And I don't even know who the fuck these people are. You know? And then the people closest to me, I see this shit happening all the time. And sometimes you see the, some of the best people. You think that these, these are... These, you know, you meet some new people. Yeah, you even, you know... I should maybe just cut it right there because I'm getting too much, but it's it's tough, you know. There's there's a lot of uh, we need to come together more and find the people that you can work with. Find the people that you love and embrace them. Find the people. Open your eyes. Open your fucking eyes. Look and see who the real people are. Who's doing the real work? Who's doing the real activism? For years, do you know? I'm gonna you know people say 
that I have an ego, that I've all been all about my can and my name, which is bullshit. I've covered more people than anyone else with that video camera. Uh, every year I booked the Freedom Rally, every year I produced it, I never got the fucking credit for it. Any other person that produced an event that big, with that much time invested for free, would have at least had their name and publicized that they did that. I used to go around and tell the bands, don't thank my can ever on the stage. Would any of you do that? I don't think you would. And why did I have to do that? Because there's so much fucking backstabbers out there. People get so fucking jealous if you have success. And you know what? I'm not, I'm not embarrassed about being successful in this movement. You know, there's one thing KOP taught me. If someone's making you feel bad about success, get the fuck away from them. And that's all that we are doing. We're building, we, we, we're gonna go to the next level. And I hope you guys join us. MikeCan.net, KOP Productions. And the King of Pot .com. Yeah, And the King of Pot .com, The new <laughs> yeah. website. I know you got you. Can't. That is the big one too. Like KLP brings that up. That was awesome because the King of Pot .com. I, I've always been about my website, MikeCan.net. But this King of Pot .com, That's where I'm gonna be. That that is the future. That's all I'm gonna say. The King of Pot .com. And look for the activism we're doing. We are. We're starting the first one, Martha Copley. We're going after the Attorney General. And no one else is going after the Attorney General and done a protest like we are. We're doing it. We're go and I'm not afraid of her. I'm not afraid of any politician in the state. They should be afraid of me. And they should want to be friends with me. Because I am friends with a lot of state reps and state senators and governors. And I contact these people. I talk to them. I work with them. So I'm encouraging the politicians and the ones that want to be politicians work with us. Because we're here and we're good people. But we're not going to let you pat. We're not going to let you, you know, get by with... Uh, playing politics against us. It's just not going to happen. So you got to be truthful, you got to be honest, you got to talk to us. So we'll see you around Ma Attorney General Martha Copley. Be there! Attorney General's office, 100 Cambridge Street. Mike Can, <laughs> the king of pot. Be there. The thing about Martha Copley is, I, I, the Attorney General I really don't think is a bad person at all. I think she actually has a lot of good qualities. She's a, a good public servant in a lot of ways. I've actually had first-hand experience of that. Um, someone I know needed a restraining order, you know? So uh, Martha Copley's office was very helpful when she was the district attorney. Uh, she went above and beyond, I felt, her office did. I think she did a good job. That's where she should be focusing on, though, you know? Violent crimes, financial crimes, where people are actually, you know, having something bad happen to them. Growing medicine, growing medical cannabis, there's no victim. Where's the victim, Martha? That's what I asked you on this. I think. The King of Pot was so right on. We need to, we need to make sure that Martha knows where we're coming from and that she has all the education about this plant. Because I don't think she does. I think she's starting to get there. She was, she campaigned against decrim. She helped bring out these ordinances to raise the fines for D, you know, after decrim. Which again, you know, she's doing her job, but it's kind of against us all the time. And then she did say something positive on uh, the Jim and Marjorie show a little while back about medical cannabis. So I thought she was on the right track. And then recently in, an, in, an, in, an, in the Boston newspaper, and the, and the comment was that it would be a headache, medical cannabis, this initiative, which is definitely campaigning against the initiative. There's no two, she's a public servant. She's the one who's gonna kind of enforce this. She shouldn't be campaigning against it, is my opinion. Especially when 65% supported decrim, 62% support legal marijuana by a poll from Aska and Normal even more support medical cannabis in mass it's gonna pass let the voters decide why is she getting involved in it and 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 she really i think that she doesn't understand i think she is reefer mad i think that she does think that this is a huge problem martha it's not a problem the problem is is that i have to pay four hundred dollars an ounce for this medicine that i want and even other recreational users that just enjoy it to unwind why are they being forced to pay it four hundred dollars an ounce to buy it from illegal dealers why can't we just grow it ourselves and get rid of this black market, inflated prices, and the, and the violence that happens associated? As times get tough right now, people can't get jobs, and a lot of times because they got busted for smoking this, they can't get a job. What are they going to do? They're going to turn around and sell it because it's selling at $400 an ounce. You're turning kids, you're turning students into drug dealers so they can pay for their college education. Think about that. I mean, this is crazy. We need to uh, end the prohibition of this improve the quality of life in Massachusetts. Look at how many people are out in this common today. Standing outside the State House. We're not embarrassed, we're not afraid anymore. I'm standing right here, Mike Can, 
Martha, if you, if you don't do something, we will have candidates running against you. We will be at all your events when you decide to run for governor. I will be there in a suit and tie too. And, and I will be shaved and nice looking, clean cut. I, I look very, you know, I'm a former financial advisor, an athlete, so that's who we are. We're the people. We'll see you soon, Martha. But KOP very much dislikes. This woman, even with our decrim, didn't want to accept that a decrim was going on a couple of years ago when we passed it. She was such a barrier in some of the lies that she put out there, including, you know, actually saying don't vote for it. I mean, she's not supposed to say that. I mean, what is wrong with these politicians? I mean, why don't they open up their eyes? But Martha Coakley, Martha, Martha Coakley. Coakley, you need to open up your eyes, okay? You need to open up the book, the book that tells you about this wonderful plant. There's been so much test been done, and fortunately not in the United States, a lot abroad internationally. Thing is, we do tests like that for pharmaceuticals internationally too, and we bring the medicine back in here because we know it works. But why is it marijuana is not easy to, to, to consume and have here or legal? You know why? Because the pharmaceuticals have no way of making money. We all know that, but I'm preaching to the choir saying the same thing. But Martha, get some information, kid, because you know what? You got Mike Can on your heels, kid, okay? And MikeCan.net gets out there. Trust me, I get all my stuff from MikeCan.net. He's got it out there. And you know what? There's a little trump card he's got this time, Martha. He's got the king of pot with him this time, boy. And you know, I go national, not just around here. And you know, someday you may want to be a little higher up than here, like our old little Mr. Romney, who's running for president. What a, what, please. Well, that's another story for another time. But all I can say is you better get there. You better get some understanding because you don't want poor publicity. And we're going to expose you for your lies. And it's going to get out to many people that vote in this community through MikeCan.net. And now, like I said, the Trump card is me. So we're coming. Get some education. You want to shake our hands and, and talk to us? We'll talk with you. You may think we're a bunch of characters, but we're pretty decent guys. So think about it. It's going to be the 28th. And I believe, what is it, at 4.20 p.m.? One. Oh, 1 p.m. 1 o'clock p.m. April 28th. Boston's be there. <laughs> Daddy-O out there too last year. Oh, yeah. Daddy-O was out there last year too. Wow, I'm just looking at the side of the monument. There is a lot of people out there. Right over there, see it? Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can see right through here. Yeah.